Have you ever bought a car secondhand? Have you ever wondered if you're making the right choice? Sure, you can choose to trust the seller or you can also have the vehicle inspected at a workshop. You can also pay to get the VIN number inspected. But this only gives you half the story. Usually, VIN number inspections online would only check the VIN numbers on the chassis of the vehicle. What if there was a tool which can go through all the VIN numbers of all the modules installed in the vehicle, give you all the service history and all the odometer readings from them? Based on our 17 years of diagnostics experience, we at Vritas believe we have the answers. This is Modi. And let me show you how it works. There are many special things about Modi. For example, you can use one interface with multiple applications. You have the standard Modi application on your phone, which allows you to perform standard diagnostics to a vehicle, do coding, vehicle reports, and also extract any information from the vehicle, like live values and other diagnostic data. On the other hand, you can use Modi with the VIN Reader app, which will allow you to perform checks on the vehicle, extract all the data from the different modules within the vehicle, and also check the VIN numbers against the world's largest database for stolen vehicles to make sure that your car is not stolen. This feature is often used by border patrol agencies and different police officers all around the globe. Let me show you how it works. We can see that it connects to our VIN Reader app in this instance. We are connecting to it and we're opening BMW because this is what we're working with at the moment. As you can see, all the VIN numbers are being displayed here. Once you see the green tick, this means that the VIN number within this vehicle has been checked against the database for stolen vehicles and is confirmed as not stolen. Once we make sure that all the modules have been checked, we can choose to send a report. Of course, we can also see the different mileage values. If there are large discrepancies in the mileage values, this means that perhaps the vehicle has been tampered with. In this case, we are happy to report that there is nothing wrong. Since we're already here, why don't I show you the Modi application? We can choose to connect to the same Modi interface we connected with just a few minutes ago. Now there are two modes in Modi. You have the basic diagnostic mode and you also have the advanced mode. For example, if we go into the basic diagnostic mode, we will see the following things. We will just go into basic diagnostics, which will check all the modules within the vehicle, see if there are any DTCs. And as a surprise to any BMW owner, there are basically no DTCs in this vehicle. The second step, which I would like to show you here, is the health report step right here. As you can see, we can just go through through all the modules and see which one of those has a diagnostic trouble code within them. At this point, the vehicle will create a PDF-like health report, which you can save to your phone by just pressing this button here. And you can also go through each and every single one of the modules to see what the trouble code is. By using the Modi's basic diagnostic mode, you can also monitor live values from different modules. I will just give you an example right now by going into the diesel, digital diesel electronics module, which is the engine control module for this vehicle. If we go into the live values menu, we can check what the engine oil temperature is, and we can also check the oil pressure and what else I think that's enough we can we can check them in graphics view and for example here we can we can have two graphics simultaneously of course you can have many many others for example the current temperature of uh, the oil in this engine is about 62.2 degrees well not about it's just perfect value for that and you can also go into go into the oil pressure, which at the moment is normal and steady. I've just added the engine speed to the live values and I will switch to query view so that I can show you the, the current engine speed of the vehicle. As you can see, we have the oil pressure, engine oil temperature, and we also have the vehicle's current idle speed. If I just touch the throttle slightly, the revs will spike and of course you will see a spike in the graph here. What I want to do now is I want to go into the BMW menu once again and perform just a basic scan of the vehicle so that I can show you exactly how we scan them. When we go into basic diagnostic mode, this will not void your warranty and it's perfectly safe for everyone to use. 
If we go into basic diagnostics, we can see all the modules and of course a few uh, diagnostic trouble codes which you have here. Once I'm done with everything, I can just clear all the diagnostic trouble codes and you can see it just takes a few moments to complete. This pretty much sums up the basic mode. From then on, we can go into advanced diagnostic mode. As you can see, there are many more options here in the advanced diagnostic mode. You can see that you can alter service intervals, you can do guided functions, and you can also do quick coding. For example, the seatbelt warning light may need to be disabled when you put your shopping there. It may be heavy and it may trigger a chime. We also have really cool additional options like enabling and disabling the start-stop system. Many people don't like their car to turn off anytime they reach a traffic light. You can enable fog lights with high beams and do whatever you want from this menu. I would like to show you some of the coding features we have available. For example, if we go into the advanced diagnostics menu, we will see a full list of modules. If I wanted to show you something more and all the, all the features we can have, uh, we can go into the car access system module right here. And from the car access module, I can go into fast coding. And from the fast coding menu, I will show you all the options we have for you. We can do the disable start stop system. We can also do uh, the automatic locking and unlocking of the doors when the engine starts. And we can do uh, horn confirmation and basically everything you want to do. Let's try and do the enable engine start without brake pedal. Right, so um, I will turn the vehicle off, yet keeping the ignition on. And I will uh, just press the OK button. It's currently entering the coding session and is writing the blocks of information which are needed to perform the coding to this vehicle. There we go, it just restarted the vehicle. It's also clearing the diagnostic trouble codes and now letting us know that we have finished the coding successfully. As you can see, my feet are now on the floor and I will just put my finger on, on the start stop button, press and hold it and the car should start. There we go. However, this option is not really convenient all the time. What we can do is we can go back from the restore coding menu and go into coding history. We can just check here and we will restore the last coding we did. The car's ignition is now being turned on and the coding re restoration is starting. This will take approximately the same amount of time as it took us to code the vehicle. And there we go. It was actually quite a lot faster. These are just some of the things you can do using Modi. For example, if you go into the instrument cluster or any other module for that matter, we are going to use the instrument cluster here. You can have the full information about it and you can also do actuator testing. For example, I'm not sure whether or not the lights on my dash have burnt out or there is some other problem, so I'm going to test them. And for example, I can ask them to flash really quickly, as you will see on the dashboard right now. There we go. We know that the dashboard is functional and all the arrows on it are functioning just right. This concludes our presentation for Modi. Whether you're a professional or an automotive enthusiast, we at Tabritas have just a tool for you. And believe it or not, we're just warming up. <laughs>